in. Hi. What's up? Well, I thought we should talk. Look, I have a lot of homework I have to do tonight. Bradley, we need to talk. Okay. You've been through a lot. You know, I understand this. I lost my father, too. I know it can be confusing. But I also know that what happened between us was real. Norman. Just let me finish. There's no point hiding from it anymore. I know how we feel about each other. I know we're both just scared and confused. I know we have a connection. You know, because I can feel it every, every time I see you, it's there. And that night we spent together was... Uh... And I know it was the same for you, because you were there with me, right? So I don't know what's holding you back. I mean, you haven't answered my text. Maybe, maybe you haven't broken up with Richard yet or something, but you should. Because you and I, we, uh, we're together, right? Herman, I don't feel that way about you. What happened was just something that happened. I'm really sorry. I shouldn't have done it with someone like you. Someone like me. Norman! Personally, I don't think nice girls come to your doorstep looking for a guy one day after he moves in or sleep with someone they barely know. At the age of 17, no less. I mean, really, what kind of a girl does that? Invite you over to have sex with them after their dad dies? Norman! You okay? I don't think you're a nice girl. Sorry. I'm really sorry. I wish it was different. I have to go. Hey, Juno. Come here, girl. Stay. Stay! Stay! Juno! Oh, my God, I didn't see her. She ran right in front of the car. Norman! I killed my dog. What are you doing? I'm taking her to Emma's dad. He can fix dead things. Uh, can I help you? Is, is he all right? Yes, he's all right. She's dead, Norman. No one can fix her. I'm not going to leave her in the street. I'm taking her to Emma's. This is crazy. He's not crazy! I will drive you, okay? I'll drive you. Just stay here. I was wrong, Mother. About everything. <laughs> I'm sorry, honey. Okay, the car, Mother. 